this is Arthur again and today we have this 2004 Mercedes SL55 AMG this car has been on the channel a few times before I'll, I'll leave the related videos to this car in the box in the description box below so if, if you're new to my channel thank you for watching please consider subscribing liking and watching other videos as well I have a lot of videos on interesting cars or repairs please consider doing so and so this car what is happening is when first of all this car is lowered on links and when it drives over uh, when, whenever it's driving what will happen is the front would raise you just randomly kind of raise up until you come to a complete stop then it would level out to a nor to a normal height like a lowered height and then you would go again it would raise again so not crazy amount but you know maybe an inch or so well you're n noticing it whenever it's going down you can notice it so i've uh, i haven't encountered an issue like this specifically i've seen some other issues where the car will change the height here and there and usually it's caused by a valve block being faulty or acceleration sensor so we're going to go ahead and replace the front valve block on this car as the front is the one that is doing that and as it is already nearly 20 years old it is good to replace with a, a replacement unit so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then stay tuned towards the end of the video and I'm gonna tell you exactly what fixed this issue on this car all right here is the valve block that is going to get replaced this is a remanufactured unit uh, owner purchased it this new are available from the dealership they're around eighteen hundred dollars they're pretty pricey so it's kind of worth taking a chance with the remanufactured unit this time we'll see how it goes this uh, remanufacturer has good reviews well, hopefully the item is good but we'll know once it's on this valve block on this car is located in the front behind the bumper under the wheel well you got to remove the wheel the wheel well as well as the bottom cover and then you have access to a valve block it has multiple connections and has multiple uh, harness and line connections to it that you have to undo to be able to get it out there are two valve blocks on this car the rear one is located on this side in front of this fender well right behind here and the rear one we're not having any issues with so we're not touching that for now we're just gonna do the front can we take a second and appreciate how beautiful this car is it is a very very nice looking car okay let's see
Okay, now we're going to start the car after the valve block replacement. I did add fluid. Okay. No warning lights. This is up position, this is down position, and I'm going to check the fluid level. I'll check for leaks, nothing's leaking so far, hopefully it will not. Fluid is a little bit low, I will add some. Then turn it off and recheck it. Since the engine is cold at this moment, since I had the car steering overnight, typically you would want this level to be somewhere around middle over here between the two marks when the engine is cold meaning as it's cold it's supposed to be here and when it's hot it's supposed to be here so right now we're just below cold i'm gonna get some more fluid and add some but this is enough to run it and check for leaks now i'm gonna lift it up check for leaks and then put the covers back on and then I'll add fluid after. Okay, here is the valve block, it's out. Actually, the valve block did not fix the raising issue. I don't know if it was it had leaks internally or no, it is pretty old. They do fail often, so it didn't hurt replacing it. But what can cause this issue is uh, acceleration sensors. What happens, there's three acceleration sensors on this car that specifically uh, can cause issues like that where the car will raise the height as you're driving there are two in the front near the shocks and one in the rear and this is the part number for the part it's about 160 dollars from the dealership so but typically what happens is when you're driving the car uh, as you're driving suddenly one side will go up rear or front suddenly it will raise and not specifically like it's happening with the issue with this car where it is slowly going up and then slowly going down as you're approaching the stoplight but it was worth checking it out just to rule out an issue so we were able to get one and i kind of swapped it around to see if it fixes the issue or no they are interchangeable with the rear one and front ones and they did not do the trick as well but what ended up being the issue was actually to begin with was the lowering links not the front but the rear this car is lowered all the way down in the rear and it was i lowered it last time uh, to as much as possible and we went we tried to go lower than it was but the computer didn't like that it was 
too low like the sensor was going below its minimum and what was happening whenever the car was being driven it was thinking that it's too low and it would raise the car up and then when you come stop it will lower it down again so now what I did to fix the problem is I adjusted the rear links three turns on each side and that completely took off, took care of the problem. Now the car still sits at the same height, at the minimum height, because the sensor thinks that it's on a low, but it doesn't trigger the computer's error. And it was interesting because the error wasn't coming on on the ABC at all. Like in the computer, if you try to scan it, there's nothing, no errors at all. But there was what was happening. You know, I removed the links, I readjusted it. So that was the problem. It was a learning experience for me and the owner. You know, typically cars get lowered, but not that much. You know, the sun was, you know, we're trying to go as low as possible, but this car didn't like that too much. The front, I think there's more room to go if you want to, but the rear, definitely, it's as low as it's gonna go where it's still able to drive and function properly. So hopefully this video was helpful. For you, if you have a SL, CL, or S class with ABC that has lowering is lowered and you're experiencing similar issues or you just found it interesting, please uh, subscribe to my channel, like it, the videos, and consider watching other videos as well. Thank you very much.